Hi there, I'm Richard. Uh, it's Tom here. And today we're looking at the ASUS G751JY gaming laptop. So what's special about this one? Right, well this is uh, among the first of a crop of laptops coming out uh, over the last few months that feature a G-Sync display. And G-Sync is basically this amazing new display technology where you get all of the advantages of gaming with V-Sync off, that's like ultra-fast response, but you get the image consistency of V-Sync on, which means no tearing whatsoever. And it's the first time we've seen it in a gaming laptop. So let's talk about the specs of the unit. This is the kind of like top end configuration. This i7 processor, it's a 4870HQ. Uh, with 32 gigs of RAM and a 980M. Pretty much exactly the same uh, GPU that you'll find in a GTX 970 and a GTX 980, but there's a number of cores cut down, about 25% of the processing cores are reduced. So CPU-wise though, it's four cores, eight threads, mm. maximum 3.9 gigahertz. You know, it is a pretty high-end desktop configuration, shrunk into a 17-inch laptop. So Unit, what about so um, ports? Pretty much a comprehensive list here with VGA, Ethernet, HDMI, uh, Thunderbolt, two USB 3s and three audio ports on that end. But yeah, on the other side... Just uh, looks like some USB 3s. Yeah, Blu-ray players, but on a laptop, might yeah, come Yeah, SD card by the look of it. Okay, so obviously on a gaming laptop, the screen is all important. We know about the G-Sync element, so what else has it got? Well, it is 1080p IPS, which is, uh, as you probably know, good for viewing angles. Yeah, otherwise G-Sync is really the, the main It really point. is the star of the show. Now, when I first thought G-Sync was a bit of a revelation, and the reason why is that, you know, you get a really consistent, pleasing visual experience when you have a game that's locked to the refresh rate of the panel, so 60 hertz in most cases. But with G-Sync, you know, you could, you could set it to 50 FPS, you could set it to 45 FPS, Obviously the frame rate would be lower, but it would still look really smooth and that's because the GPU is in control of the refresh rather than the GPU having to synchronize with the refresh. Okay, so the bottom line is this. G-Sync is really good as a technology in its own right, but you are still dealing with a variable frame rate and that means that frames are persisting on screen for different amounts of time and it is noticeable. It, obviously G-Sync cleans it up a bit, but it's not ideal. But with Reva Tuna statistics server, what we showed is that if you limit yourself to a set frame rate, then you get the consistency as well. And you can set that to whatever frame rate you want, you know, 35, 40, 45 FPS. And the presentation isn't a million miles away from the kind of standard, gold standard, if you will, of a locked 60. I think that's the bottom line, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the GTX 980M. Um, typically, the laptop equivalent parts are obviously less capable than the desktop version. So what are we dealing with here? Well, it looks kind of between the GTX 970 and the 960. Um, because it is a laptop, we're CPU bound in some respects, especially in games like The Witcher 3 and Call of Duty uh, Advanced Warfare. It kind of dips around the GTX 960's levels, but for the most part, it's around, you know just shy of the 970. Different games produce different results. It's quite kind of interesting that while the GTX 980M is based on the desktop chip, you kind of can't pin it to a specific desktop part. So, if, for example, in The Witcher, looking at the performance video right here, you can see that it's better than the GTX 960, as you'd expect, because it has more memory bandwidth, more cores, etc. But it doesn't really get as high as we sort of hoped it would. But then when you look at something like Assassin's Creed Unity here, we're looking at ultra high settings here, mm. and it's kind of up there with the GTX 970, which is a really impressive showing for yeah. a laptop part. and it storms past the 960, which is, uh, we thought, memory bound. Yeah, it could be memory bandwidth, and also the fact that uh, Assassin's Creed on ultra high really does cane uh, memory allocation, and the 960 we're testing here only has two gigs of RAM, mm. whereas all of the other parts in this particular test have the full four gigabytes. Yeah, Call of Duty. Yeah, now so this is where we see it dropping below the 960. Yep, and that's really interesting, but I kind of think that the possibility there is that we are CPU bound because uh, Call of Duty is so fast that, you know, we're hitting some insane frame rates here. Uh, you know, 74 FPS, average of 81 FPS on uh, the 980M. And we're kind of reaching the point where the GPU isn't really the bottleneck anymore, it's the CPU and obviously that is a lot slower than the 4790K that we were using. Okay, so here we are looking at Crisis 3 on the 980M, and again, it's kind of midway between the 960 and the 970 here. 
Yeah, this is pretty much the king of stress tests in our uh, gamut of benchmarks, isn't it? It's kind of the yeah. one where we're expecting it to hit the GPU hardest, and yeah, it really holds its own. It's almost at a full 60, but in the earlier tests, we saw it dips down to 45 at points. Yeah, when we were running our G-Sync tests, locking the game to 45 FPS on the very high preset seemed to give the best experience, really. It was absolutely rock solid there. Okay, so in conclusion, the ASUS G751JY, very catchily named there. What do you reckon? Yeah, I liked it. I liked it a lot. The G-Sync really pays off, and I, you know, if you're looking for a top grade two grand laptop and that's your budget, this is uh, one of the better options I've seen so far. I mean, we see a lot of gaming laptops coming into the office and indeed going out again. And this is kind of like the first one where we've thought, wow, you know, we really want to buy this or own it at least. And I think it's kind of to a combination of things. First of all, there's the Intel CPU and the GTX 980M. I mean, those are pretty much desktop equivalent parts. We've proved that the performance is there. But I think the crowning glory, if you like, is the G-Sync screen. Yeah, this is kind of uh, going to become the future of laptops, I think. Gaming laptops so. in, in particular. Okay, so that's the ASUS G751JY. Pretty decent gaming laptop and the G-Sync monitor on there really is a game changer. And that's all we've got time for for now. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to give us a like and subscribe to Digital Foundry for the latest console and PC tech analysis.